According to the Encyclopedia Britannica, neo-evolution is the revolution between the long-term changes that are characteristics of human culture in general and the short-term localized social and ecological adjustments that cause specific cultures to differ from one another as they adapt to their unique environments. Neo-evolutionism is a social theory that strives to explain the evolution of society that was introduced by Charles Darwin. An example of a technology that is altering human evolution is in vitro fertilization. This is a complex series of procedures that is used to treat fertility or genetic problems and assist with the conception of a child. It is the most effective form of assisted reproduction, reproductive technology. During this process, mature eggs are collected from the woman's ovaries and fertilized by sperm in a lab. Then the fertilized egg or eggs are implanted in the woman's uterus. One cycle of in vitro fertilization can take around two weeks. Several benefits of using in vitro fertilization. The first benefit is that it helps infertile couples to have a baby of their own with their own eggs and sperm. Another benefit is that with the parents using their own egg and sperm and not a donor's, the baby's DNA will be that of the intended parents only. There are many drawbacks of in vitro fertilization. The first is that in vitro fertilization can result in an undesired multiple of babies. Women can develop ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome, which is where ovaries become swollen and painful. In vitro fertilization can lead to atopic pregnancy, which is when the pregnancy occurs outside of the uterus. The success rates of in vitro fertilization are much lower than 100%. There are many different factors that can contribute to the success rate of in vitro fertilization. They include the age of the female, the quality of the egg, the quality of the sperm, and the quality of the uterus. The success rate is decreased by with age of the female. 25 to 30 percent is the average success rate of in vitro fertilization. Another drawback is that the in vitro fertilization procedure can be painful from the drug and hormones used. The process of in fertilization can be costly as well. Couples might have to go through the cycle of in vitro fertilization multiple times because of the success rate uh, being so low. This can cause the couples to have to pay large amounts of money for the treatments until it works. I think there are no set moral or ethical implications of neo-evolution because humans are consistently changing. When we are making major decisions, we need to not only think about the present, but also of the future. We need to consider how the decisions we make now will impact our future generations and will be able to use those choices to make society better and more successful. I think that we should continue to pursue using in vitro fertilization. There are benefits and drawbacks of using it. However, I think it is more beneficial. It gives couples the opportunity to have their own children when they are unable by natural ways. This allows them to have a normal family and for them to, have, to be and feel normal and happy.